Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel, T to the Y to the M to the A R A. Alright, today we want to see what's going on in your energy, so Spirit, please give me a message for the Taurus Collector. Remember, this is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, please check out bandtomorrow.com at the link in the description box below. Alright, we're going to see what's coming towards you, Taurus, at this time. Okay, I see for my Taurus collective, I feel like maybe possibly you went through a conflict with someone. There was a strong conflict or disagreement. Um, and you're just I feel like you're just in this energy of trying to renew your relationship. You're in the process of making something fresh again or renewing something, trying to work on something. If you are in a relationship, you could be possibly wanting to take your significant other out on a date or trying to work on something to make it better because y'all went through a conflict. And it's like you don't want to battle with this conflict. I feel like this could have affected your relationship, made y'all like less close to each other. And you want to work on this with this dynamic. And for some of you, if you are not in a relationship, then this could be a family member or a friend or something where you want to you just want to work on this relationship maybe you feel like lately there has not been as much support nobody's doing anything for each other nobody's really reaching out saying i love you caring for each other or something you want to work on it you just want to work on forgiveness it seemed like um and it takes a lot for you to be brave and to change and not be stubborn and actually talk about this situation it's taking a lot for y'all both not to be stubborn and actually work on this relationship because y'all really do truly love each other this could be a friendship partnership or whatever but i feel like there was some conflict that needs some type of it take it takes a lot of courage to work on this and to forgive this relationship dynamic okay let's see what else is coming towards Taurus. what else is coming towards Taurus? i feel like there's this energy here where somebody could have um exchange some words or have some choice words and now there's like this regret for somebody said something that they shouldn't have said somebody could have possibly like somebody's truly regretting the words that they said and then and at the time of anger and they are seeking your forgiveness somebody was in the, yes knight of swords somebody words really cut like a knife Somebody has some harsh, some harsh words to say towards you. And now you're in the process of like, now y'all trying to live with the full energy. Y'all trying to start over, start from the beginning. I feel like there was an argument that went really wrong. Somebody was very aggressive with their words. Like, I feel like there could have really been, and I, it seemed like in this situation, you could have been the one that was like less, less abrasive with your words compared to this person. They really had a lot of things to say. And now they are wanting your forgiveness. They want to end this conflict. They want to work on your connection, work on this relationship. They're telling you, I love you now. And then please forgive me. Yeah, I went too hard. I shouldn't have said that. I had too much alcohol. I was drinking too much. Things just went too far. This could have been at a time where y'all were out celebrating or at a party or went out to the club or y'all did something. Also, there could have been other people there witnessing this behavior or somebody possibly had too much alcohol or too much to drink. And it's really damage your relationship other people are there to see this i also just heard wedding somebody has too much to drink at a wedding and could have really like cursed their spouse out said something had some choice words somebody really was acting belligerent all over the place i just heard like sloppy drunk or something not my words i just heard that sloppy drunk because there's too many cups here somebody could not hold their alcohol and they told their significant other or this person off that they truly love and care about this could be with an air sign or a water sign. So we have either Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. They really had some choice words to say. And this really, like, damaged our relationship. And now, like, you're just pulling yourself back. You're not even feed, you're not nurturing this relationship no more. You didn't really reach out. You're not calling them or anything. And this person truly, you're trying to work on it, but I feel like you're taking your time. You want to... I feel like you're trying to decide if you want to forgive this person or not, but this person truly like, hey, I, I'm sorry, I'm a, I was wrong, and you're really trying to just see what you want to do now. Everything is a lot of cups here. I just heard T Pain. I had one too many drinks. This could have been at the bar or something. 
I almost feel like yeah, the attention was the attention was all on somebody. People could have this could have got so much out of control that people were taking pictures. Cops could have got called. And I almost feel like you're telling them, hey, if we're going to continue working on this relationship, you're going to have to go to rehab or you're going to have to go get some help. You're going to have to pour this liquor out or do something. But we need something new to happen. You're going to have to change. Because it seems like this has been going on for a while. This could have been for 10 months, 10 years. Like you've been tolerating this alcohol behavior from somebody for a long time. And it's like, we're going to work on this relationship. We need some drastic change coming in. I'm tired of this. I feel like you're looking towards the past and you see like this has been going on for a while. This person's be a belligerent behavior. This could be your family. I feel like this drinking issue, this could have been passed on during generations. Maybe somebody's parents used to drink or act this way in front of them. And now this has moved into your family or into your relationship. I'm almost feeling like this is somebody's spouse or their wife or husband or a significant other. Something could have happened at a party or event in front of some kids. King of Cups in the reverse. Somebody just cannot handle, somebody really just could not handle their, their liquor. They became a sloppy drunk and then they wind up just either passing out or they spouse tried to help them out or somebody you could have tried to help them out and they really yeah this is a person you love you could have helped this person out and this person really either cursed you out went off on you the cops had to get called something just got out of control something really got out of control okay so what's supposed to happen from here We're serving Taurus at this time. For you, I feel like this is you, Taurus. We have Earth sign coming out here. I feel like you could have saw something on social media. Somebody sent you a message of this negative behavior that came from this person. I feel like you're aware of it. So what's serving you is that you have awareness of this person's behavior. Rather, also, this person could have possibly went out and you wasn't with them, but you're aware of their behavior. This could have been on a guy's night, girl's night, or something that you're just kind of aware. I feel like what's serving you is that you're aware of what's happening. What's happening. I also feel like you could now. This is taking a little bit of a turn. I almost feel like you could be telling your this person, rather your spouse, your family member, your cousin, whoever. I feel like you're telling them like, hey, those people you went out drinking with and you did all that, they are not your friends. They're sitting there laughing with you, or um, they're sitting there laughing with you, or allowing you to do this to you. And I'm trying to sit here and empower you, or telling you, or trying to help you better yourself. This Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is really not your friend. Or this could be you. This could be going on with this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be the sign. I feel like you're like, hey, I truly care about you. That's why I want to get you help. You need to stop drinking like this. First name, first middle, last name could be with an A or or R. First middle, last name. Somebody can live in Raleigh, South Carolina, Arkansas, Alabama, Atlanta. Something with an R. Roanoke. Something with an R, first, middle, last name, or location. I feel like somebody's really telling you, like, hey, they're not your friends. These people don't care about you, that they're tolerating your drinking behavior. This shouldn't be going on. Or I'm just trying to build you up. I'm trying to just trying to help you out. This kind of that's kind of what's going on. What's not serving Taurus at this time? What's not serving you? You feel like you strongly have this love or connection for this person. You have this deep connection and love for this person. But at the same time, you almost feel like this person. You almost feel like this person, you, you just don't like their ways. You don't like their ways when they drink too much or how they handle conflict. 
but you truly love them. So it's kind of like it's, it's not serving you that you have this deep love and connection for this person. Eleven could be important here. Maybe something happened in November or two, 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 two. You're really connected and loyal to this person. What obstacles are standing in Taurus way? Feeling unhappy. You feel unhappy. That's what's standing in your way is that you have this deep passion and love and connection to this person. But at the same time, it makes you unhappy sometimes. Letter D could be important here. First, middle, last name or 44. Somebody could be 44 years old. Like You want to see this person successful. You want to see them win. You want to grow with this person. You want to have a future with them. You want to have a house together. You want to share everything with this person, but you just wish that they would become better. So it's kind of like the obstacle standing in your way. So what's the outcome here? The outcome here is that... It takes a lot of courage to forgive this person. Y'all have a deep connection, I see. Very odd coming out here. Just let me know. Like, y'all have a deep connection. You truly love this person and care about them. And it takes a lot of bravery or guts to even speak up or to tell this person that you feel this type of way. The outcome is also not going to parties anymore, not going out, not celebrating. It's like, hey, you're going to either go to rehab, you're going to get some help, or you can't, you're not going to hang out with this group of people anymore, these friends, or I'm not going to support this. 333 three, three could be significant. Somebody could be 33 years old, as well as the letter F, first, middle, last name. And somebody. It's like there's also this anxiety or tension here. Somebody is nervous about going to go get this help. But at the same time, it's a blessing that you're either you're either here to help them or to show them grace. Somebody wants your forgiveness. They truly love you. But it's a blessing that you're even here, like, showing them grace or supporting them. Or God is trying to bless them. Like, you're telling them, like, this is the cause and effect. This is the justice. This is the cause and effect of what happened. This is what happened. You decide to go out there and go drink or do all this or show your tail and be belligerent and curse me out in public in front of everybody and embarrass us and embarrass this family. You're going to have to get help or you can't go out and celebrate those people anymore. I know you're a grown person, but it's either us, your family, or you go out there and go party. But something seems to be going on here. Let me see if there's any more. Give me more on this situation for Taurus. On the table today. Yeah. Somebody on today. Somebody's like, you need to go get help today. Go cleanse your energy. Get help. Go get clean. Don't drink again. Don't pick up the bottle. Like, this is the offer that's on the table. You're really saying, like, hey, this is the offer. You want to need to get help today or go cleanse or go stop drinking or something. If not, we can't be, I can't help you out. I can't support you. I can't be your friend. I'm not going to be answering your phone. I'm not going to support you. We can't be together in this relationship if you don't get help. And you're going to have to show me that you have cleaned your act up. You're going to have to show me that you changed. You're going to have to show me that you truly want my forgiveness or that you want this relationship to work out. If not, then I'm gone. See, somebody... This is somebody you even have kids with or somebody, I'm being a heart strange. This is somebody you have kids with. This, I almost feel like this is a, this is giving me like a, a female energy that's doing all this drinking or that has this issue going on. This could be somebody's mother or your child's mother or somebody that really has your heart. See, something here is toxic. Unhealthy, toxic behavior, toxic people, hanging around unhealthy people or hanging around toxic people. Somebody's really surprised at how you're treating them and that you're making them do this. We got social media coming out here again. Yes, I'm getting. If you don't go get help, I am going to file for divorce because this was the last time I'm going to file for divorce. I'm going to file paperwork. I'm going to get custody of the kids. I'm going to take the kids or something because you have a history of doing this, past history of this repeated behavior. You have a history of acting petty. You have a history of acting this way. I'm going to file legal custody and get get your children Get the kids if you don't get clean. You're in denial. You're in denial about your behavior. This is, and look, this person is realizing that they 
They keep drinking too much and they needed an intervention. Wow. Somebody truly needed an intervention on their life and you're here to help them. You're really trying to help them knock this habit, get the help that they need. You're really trying to rescue somebody. And somebody's realizing that, hey, it's a drinking problem. This is what's really coming to the light. They're in denial about it. They was hanging out with the wrong company. This, these people was really not somebody's friends, allowing them to drink and do this. And now somebody's children is being affected by this situation. So somebody's really thinking about taking something to court. Filing divorce, getting custody of kids, reporting something, probably calling child protective services or something. Something just really got out of hand. And this keeps seeming, this keeps happening. I feel like somebody saw something on social media that went too far. Something went too far. Look, see, she holding the phone in her hand. Something went too far. Somebody saw something unexpected. Shock. Shock and surprise. I feel like somebody could have did something belligerent and it was really online and everybody saw it and that was the final straw. But that's all I have for you, Taurus. If anything resonated, please leave me a message down below and I'll see you next time. Okay, take care.